Hi, it's Kevin from TakeAHikeGPS.com. Today I'm going to show you how to uh, download hikes from the internet that other people have done and posted on various internet websites in the form of GPX files. We're going to put those files on our computer and I'll show you how to then transfer them to your handheld GPS so that you can have the exact track that you need to follow uh, right on your handheld GPS as you hike. This is where the uh, handheld GPS goes from being just a useful tool to being a real game changer. Because whereas before, you know, this paper map was our primary reference, this is now just going to be a backup that we only have with us for emergencies, and everything that we need to know will be right on our handheld GPS unit. So there's a number of different websites where you can get the um, download the hikes from and get that kind of information. And if you go to uh, takeahikegps.com and click on the handheld GPS trip planning center you can see a list of some of them. We're going to click on the first one there, uh, trailheadfinder.com, which was one of my favorites. And that will bring up the uh, Google map screen that you see here. So wherever you're uh, looking for uh, hikes to do, you can just scroll to that part of the map and uh, zoom in to find hikes in your local area. And we're going to be hiking in Western Virginia today, uh, near Roanoke. Uh, we're going to be hiking up a mountain called uh, Sharp Top. So we'll just scroll to that area of the map and zoom in. And when we find our hike, we're just going to uh, click on it and click on the, the title there and it'll bring up all the information about our hike. So we want to click on the tab at the top that says Maps and GPS. I'll scroll down to the bottom of the screen and you can see in the middle there um, you can see the topo map with your hike on it. Uh, you can also print that out if you'd like. Let's go down to the bottom of the screen past the vertical profile section and go to the GPS track download. We're going to click here to download. And that'll bring up our uh, download dialog box right there. We'll save the file to our desktop and hit OK. And that'll save the, uh, the GPX file to our desktop. OK, so we've downloaded our GPX file to our computer and uh, Wherever we downloaded it to, we'll just want to uh, make sure we know where to find it on our uh, hard drive. I'm going to move it to my desktop to make it a little easier to get to. And then I'm going to open my um, software from the GPS manufacturer. And that'll be a little bit different depending on what kind of GPS unit you have. I have the Garmin GPS Map 60 CSX here. and the uh, Garmin software for the computer is MapSource, so I'm going to open that software and that will allow me to open the GPX file and view it in that software. So to do that, I'm just going to go up to the top here, hit on File, go to Open, and we'll go to wherever on our computer we have that GPX file. And we want to make sure that this box down here uh, says GPS exchange format files because if we're searching for a different type of file it won't uh, find it. So we click on GPS exchange format, find our file, and then hit open. And you'll notice that now once we open that file we can view the um, track on the left uh, dialog box. If we double click on it uh, we can view all the information about the track, the distance, um, all that sort of stuff, and you can show it on the map by clicking that tab there and just actually look at the um, GPS, GPS track on the map. To transfer it to our GPS, we're going to uh, make sure the GPS is hooked up to our computer, the USB cable, and turn the unit on, it hasn't been turned on already. And once it's turned on, we can go up to our uh, menu here at the top and click on the 
send to device icon and our GPS device should be listed right there under device and we just click on what information we want to send to the device in this case we just want to send the track so we check the track box and hit send and it was successfully sent to our device so we now have the information in our GPS unit we're ready to go do the fun part which is go for a hike Okay, so here we are at the uh, Sharp Top Trailhead. We're ready to do the hike, and what we want to do is select the track that was loaded on the GPS and start navigating it. From the main menu page, we'll hit the tracks option, highlight that, and hit enter. And there'll be a list of our saved tracks at the bottom there. So we'll just highlight the uh, Sharp Top track and hit enter. And at this point, we can either uh, view it on the map, like so, or we can elect to uh, track back, which is what we want to do. And when we highlight that option, it'll ask us to select the point we want to track back to. So we want to track back to the uh, top of the mountain, that's where we're trying to get to. So we'll just select that, and hit enter, and then we can uh, start navigating that trail. And it will highlight the trail for us on the map, and we can see exactly where we are on it, how long it's going to take us to get to our destination, the distance remaining, all kinds of useful information. So it's a really nice feature to have.